So it is currently 12.45 and I woke up at about 11.15 um, because I went to bed really late last night and I'm still really tired now. I didn't get to sleep until like quarter past three, which sucks, but I kind of blame myself, but whatever. Um, I'm not really doing anything today, just as you can tell, I've just been in bed. This isn't my bed, I'm in my, um, my room at my aunt's house. Um, but I go back home today. Um, I've got the dentist at 2.45, so I have to, like, get up and have some food and stuff. I'm really craving pop tarts, so I'm probably going to have some pop tarts. So, yeah. Okay. So, I've just finished getting ready, um, but you probably can't really tell the difference because I don't have any straighteners, so, or dry shampoo, so my hair looks slightly greasy and horrible. But I'm just going to have to live with it. Um, and I didn't have any makeup with me, I only bought mascara and eyeliner, so my face still looks a bit pants. Um, because I don't have like a proper overnight bag, my mum took it because I didn't want to carry like loads of stuff I didn't need around. So I just like grabbed the basics like deodorant, hairbrush, but then I realised I only have this tiny bag and I still have to put my charger in there. And because, um, these sunglasses that I'm wearing do not fit in my bag and it's raining I'm gonna have to walk around town looking like an absolute freak so that's gonna be fun but yeah uh, I might leave some stuff here because I think I'm coming back or, or my mum's coming back on Wednesday so I might just leave a hairbrush my hairbrush here because I don't I have another hairbrush at home so that's not like an essential so I might do that I'll see so my train leaves in half an hour so I just think I'm gonna grab some pop tarts from downstairs and then I'm gonna have to pretty much leave. Fun. The station and there is a train because of like engineering works or platform works or something, something emergency. But I'm stranded at the station right now. So I've just come at the dentist and it was pretty horrible, my first time being alone, and they did something called scaling, and they were basically like cleaning my teeth or something like the, the back of those ones, and now you can't really see, but my gums are bleeding, and it really hurts, and my mouth tastes like blood, so I'm going to go to Costa and get a coffee. You have going? If it's not raining, Roxy, get off. It's not your Ooh, nice peeing. <laughs> Come on, Roxy. I am pissed. <laughs> Look at you. Come back, Roxy. <gasps> Go, Roxy. Come here. Good girl, Roxy. Good girl. Yeah. No, Roxy, we're going in the car. Good girl. Roxy! Come here. What did you get? Oh, you're up on my seat already. Oh, cheers. Well, come on then. Oh, bless you. Just finished the checkup with Roxy. I'm just walking her around a bit. Um, yeah, she was good. Her ears are a lot better. Um, I don't know if any of you guys know, but she has, like, um, problems with her ears. Like, she has, like, a skin allergy or something. And we don't really know, like, what the cause of, 
causes for it. I just realised she was eating a sausage roll. I thought she was just sniffing. Um, okay, that blended in with the leaves. Um, so yeah, she's just been like having checkups and stuff. She's coming off the ear drops, but she's still having cleaner. And she's on like steroid tablets as well. Um, so yeah, I think we've got another appointment in like three weeks or something. So pretty cool. Mum's just in there paying. And then we're going home and just chilling really. I, I thought this was going to be a more interesting vlog, but it's kind of not. But I'm going to try and start vlogging more over the summer because it's fun and I enjoy it. And then you kind of get to see what I do during my time off as well so yes there's signs over there I kind of want to go and read them so yeah don't mind my boring rambling um also I'm going to be doing um a lot of filming for like videos I've got a few fashion ones that people have requested and I have a few mental health ones as well and I need someone to film for me for horse videos because I've run out of clips. Um, but I think I have a video in mind or someone requested that I show me doing tricks with Bentley and stuff. Um, so I'm going to be doing that on Friday, I think. Me, Alice and Leah are all meeting up, so that should be fun. And then... What else? Um, yeah, in um, a few weeks, I'm getting my hair cut hopefully um and then like after I get it done I'll be able to dye it so that's gonna be fun so I'm gonna be filming that um I'm pretty sure I'm going for red um but I'm not too sure what color not like a bright red kind of like a dark brownie sort of red like an auburny sort of color because I like it um so yeah that should be interesting bye Do you think she'd like it? Yeah, definitely. I just love its little teeth. <laughs> it looks like Bentley. <laughs> that one's so Isn't sassy. Nice, uh, in, inside or outside? I don't know. It doesn't look no, like That one's so Clyde. Yeah. Is that his name? <gasps> Clyde likes to do something with a to pose toothy with a toothy smile. smile. He's a handsome lad. Something, something. Oh, we've, we've still got to get that for yeah, her. Definitely. Do you think she'd like it? Yeah, definitely. It's hilarious. <laughs> Literally, that's mm. it. Open. So that's 
next? Much you did with a vague I don't think this won't become like deep and emotional or anything, but I'm just so bored at the moment. Like, I, I'm so glad like I'm not at school or anything because I'd much rather be at home than at school because school is <laughs> not good. Um, so I, I kind of miss being at school, like, not having the hassle of having to meet up with friends and they're always there and everything, so it's not like you have to, like, meet up or spend any money to go and see them, but being away is, like, being away from school is a lot harder because people are always busy and it's hard to meet up with people and being stuck home alone every day is pretty boring and it's pretty tough because a lot of the time for me being alone is a bad thing because I just I overthink everything I am I hate being left alone with my thoughts and I just need distractions all the time and there's literally no distractions around here like I start my job in just under two weeks so that's gonna be really good and I'm looking forward to it um, but it's just those two weeks leading up to it I'm gonna be doing like nothing I'm gonna be cleaning my room um, I'm going to be doing nothing, basically. Like, I've been off school for almost a month. Um, I finished school on the 22nd. And literally, apart from the days I've been going back to school <laughs> to help out with um, different stuff, I've just been doing nothing. Like, there was one day I sorted out my wardrobe and everything, and... Um, one day I had to go and get my nails done and stuff like that, but, like, I haven't met up with anyone and it it's just been so boring and I just wish that people, there were people closer to me because I don't have any friends in my area and I don't want to go out and make new friends because making friends is something I'm not good at and I have I I'm reliant on other people so if I did want to like go and meet new people I would feel the need to have someone that I already knew with me so I would like because I, once I know someone, once I'm friends with someone, I am extremely confident around them. And I'm, like, a completely different person. But when I'm not with people I know and I'm on my own, it's a lot different and it's a lot harder. Um, because I'm just so shy and quiet and I get nervous and I have no idea what to talk about. I find it hard to talk about stuff because I'm scared that I'm gonna say something and then they're just gonna start like judging me for the things I like and stuff so hopefully like once I get to college because I'll be on an equine course we'll have like horses in common and stuff and that should be fun but what am I supposed to do for the seven weeks before then like obviously I'm finding out in a few weeks if I've got accommodation so then I'll be having to start packing and stuff not that I'll be taking too much <laughs> um, I've got my job but that's not every day but I'm hoping that there's going to be someone there that I can become friends with and then I'll be able to meet up with them maybe on like our days off but I literally know like two people in this area and like we've said that we'd meet up at some point but we haven't like arranged anything and 
I don't know like when they're free because I know they said they were busy for a bit so I don't know when they're free so I'm waiting for them to message me and then I don't know if they are gonna message me and um meeting up with people that don't live near me is hard because I have to walk everywhere I have to get the train everywhere I have to it's just hard and I don't like exercise <laughs> and I would go down the field a lot more often but it takes me about an hour to get there and then I'd be there on my own so I'm not really like meeting up with anyone or socializing or anything and then that's still really boring and I just I just wish there were more things to do in my area because there is literally nothing to do here my area is so chavvy as well, so I can't trust anyone, which sucks. So that is my rant about how unsocial I am. So I'm just walking the dog and vlogging and it's awkward because there are cars going past and they're probably wondering why the hell I'm talking to my phone, but I don't really care. So I just wanted to film quickly because I need your guys' help. So basically I am making a video or a series of videos I guess about a topic which I have had personal experience with. Um, I can't really do this without telling you so basically the topic is self-harm. So obviously this topic is a very broad topic and there's kind of a lot you could talk about. So I'm kind of stuck on ideas. I've got two ideas already. Um, one of them was a idea given to me. Um, so basically, if you have any more ideas, my ideas that I have, well, not mine, but one of my ideas was ways to distract yourself. And another person's uh, idea was ways to convince yourself not to start. So I think that those are both very good videos and I, I'm sure they will be very helpful and hopefully no one will be an asshole about it and try and find a negative thing to say about it like people have been doing because people are assholes sometimes um, so yeah hopefully these will be very helpful videos and that's my goal I want to be helping people I don't want to seem attention seeking or like I'm bragging or anything like that that is not my goal my goal is definitely to help people um so yeah um but I kind of need more ideas because I don't really know what to talk about and I don't really want to make a video like I've done before on like what it is because normally when I talk about what it is I talk about my personal experiences but at the moment this is not something that I would want to give my personal experience about like obviously I will do that sort of stuff when I'm actually talking in the video okay calm down um so obviously I will be referring to myself sometimes but I don't want to make like I don't want to talk about it a lot because it is a very hard topic as you can probably imagine um but I definitely want you guys' help and you guys to be more involved with my videos so if you have any ideas or requests about this topic that you want me to talk about then either comment them down below on this video comment them on an Instagram post or you can DM me um, on Neve Spams because that is the account I'm more active on or you can kick me all time Nev and I'll leave all my contact details in the um, bottom as well um, in the description box um, and you can either be anonymous or you can get full credit like I will mention that you guys get full credit anyway and I will say oh this is my idea or this is someone else's idea and if you don't want to be anon or you don't really care then I will say your username like oh this is so and so's idea because I don't want to I don't want people to think I'm taking all the credit which I'm not because <laughs> yeah I do want you guys to be involved um, and also if you have any more requests for other mental health videos um, then comment them down below as well. I know someone 
someone's requested for me to talk about counselling and how to tell your friends and family and I, I have experience with both of those so there's videos I can do um, because I only normally do video requests if I have experience on that topic because I don't want to get the facts wrong or offend anyone by not having any personal experience but so far all the videos I've done I have personal experience with so yeah it's basically up Thank you. Goodbye. Okay, so I'm home now, but I just wanted to say that the reason why I'm doing all these videos and everything is I want to help people because I know personally how crappy this feeling is and what it's like to be suffering with all this stuff. And I don't want, I know people obviously will be but I don't want people to feel crappy like I do, like, I I just don't think it's fair and I know, like, in a lot of circumstances it can't really be helped, but I am nowhere near recovered at all, but that doesn't mean I can't help people because obviously we can all, like, be in this together and I am free to talk to people whenever like if you just want to vent then vent to me and I will like I won't like try and cure you or help you or anything but I just want people to know that you are not alone and plenty of other people are suffering as well like obviously not all for the same reasons or anything and I just want people to know that you aren't alone and it is possible to recover. I've seen people recover before and I desperately do want to recover as well and there is the help out there and hopefully some of these videos like tell I'm I'm doing a video soon about telling your parents or telling your friends because I've done both of those and it isn't easy but I it, it is possible and then telling someone is literally the first step to recovering um I didn't tell anyone um someone from my school saw and reported to the school so the teachers got involved and told my parents and that's kind of how it all came about but I'm glad that happened because it meant I could get the help and I know the help that I've been getting hasn't helped me much it has been helpful and it is good to talk to people but talking isn't something I'm good at but I'm still getting help I haven't given up on getting help completely and yeah, I will be doing videos about counselling as well and my experience as well and yep, it's pretty much all. So my camera charger was in my car and um, I'm just charging my battery right now because I want to film a video tonight. It all depends on the lighting and how quickly that charges. But anyway, I just had to run out to the car like this. I'm wearing, um, hope you can see. Batman travels and I was wearing like little Chelsea boots as well I literally ran down the street because I don't want anyone to see me thankfully I live along a quiet road so there's not many cars going past or anything um, but it's just people looking out their window I was very scared that someone was going to see me <laughs> looking like a complete state but I do have my hair straightened for like the first time in a few days so that's making me happy. So I know today hasn't really been the most interesting of vlogs but I will be starting to do more vlogs over the next couple of weeks because I've got some stuff planned hopefully so that should be fun. So yeah I will speak to you very soon. Thank you. Bye. <laughs> Why am I saying thank you? Thanks for watching I guess. <laughs> Bye.